short overview of my TTSH. It's a mini, mini, it says so there. They called it the Blue Mini back in 1970. This is a clone of an ARP2600. It has exactly the same layout, or except for a few details uh, what are these details well as you can see over there there's holes switches 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 what are these switches okay this is uh, the gate out of the arteria key step which i'm gonna plug into the gate in of the ttsh and this is here the pitch out which i'm gonna plug into the keyboard of oscillator one this is a one volt per octave input as every 2600 there is a part that's already patched internally so it's normal as we would call it so it's a semi-modular and that semi-modular means it doesn't need necessarily patch cords in order to work or make a sound so i'm gonna lift oscillator one in the mixer okay it's going into the filter The square wave is coming from oscillator one. Okay, I'm gonna explain now what are these little holes. So I know for a fact that this hole here is normal to oscillator one. It is a frequency divider output, meaning that I don't know what note this is, but what will output from there will be a square wave, an octave down. So in order to hear it, I'm gonna take the output here. Uh, bring it back into the mixer. I know it says ring mod, but now because I patch something, it becomes the new thing. As you can see, this is the no the original note. If I put the one that's divided, so two together. W what is this other hole? This is the input of the frequency divider. So a frequency divider just counts how many frequency and divide it in. So in that matter, it will be an octave down. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that there is a switch here. If I put it there, it's gonna be divided in two octaves lower. Oh, this is low. So if I go an octave, so that now there is a difference between oscillator one and its division of two octaves down. This switch here will be to bypass the frequency divider in order to put any oscillator in. So I will take oscillator two. If I take the output of oscillator two, let's say a, a triangle, put it into the input of the divider. Now it's the oscillator two that will be divided. Two octaves down. This is for the frequency divider part. This switch is a sync. You cannot see how it works. Oscillator tree. This is a sawtooth or a ramp. Ramp up. If I put it on sync, it's going to be synced to oscillator two. Malt. So if I do no sync, if I sync it, then it's gonna take its pitch from oscillator two. And what it will do is just change the harmonic content. Familiar sound. Yeah, because the Odyssey used to do this. The ARP 2600 did not have a syncable oscillator. A very distinctive sound of the ARP Odyssey. Now, those two switches here, what are they? 
I have the gate coming from Mr. Keystep. Let's keep uh, this. I know for a fact that this switch here, if I use the AR in the VCA, this switch here will affect the timing or the scaling of time of the envelope generator AR. When it's position extreme left, the release become very long. Well, medium long, long. If I put it there, then that's extra, extra long. Same thing goes for the attack. Now, I know for a fact that the original ARP2600 did not have that long attack and long release. So it is very welcome if I want to make it shorter. That's very short and that's probably the value uh, when I put it at the extreme left. It's probably the value of the original ARP2600. See, release time even at the maximum was not very long. And it goes the same with the ADSR. We have a switch that will scale the time. So over there at the extreme right, it's going to be super, super long. I will, ap I will apply it to the oscillator pitch ADSR. Oh, see how long it goes, how slow it goes. Okay, in the middle, it becomes very, very fast. This is so fast that you can't even hear it goes. Uh, I don't know what's the frequency. It goes from very high to very low, very fast. Excellent to make percussive sound. And uh, to the extreme left, when the switch is toggled over there, it's probably behaving like an original ARP2600. Lasers. Okay, last thing I want to talk about is the old spring reverb. You see the spring reverb is on right now and it's very quiet. Well, quieter than the original ARP2600. And the sound of it, I find it so tasty. I'm not sure which kind of tank uh, Steve's Summers put in it, but it's very tasty. I love it. And somewhat always fine. I don't know if it's psychoacoustic, but when I put the two outputs, and run the, the ARP2600 in stereo, I feel like it is stereo. I know it's mono in there, but I don't know. There's some kind of field, open field. Isn't that tasty reverb? Thank you for watching. This was an overview of the ARP2600 of mine, the Mini Mini TTSH, a ARP2600 clone.